But if he comes off the side cushion, and as, you, as Ken says, hits the black foam in the face, he will leave a red on. In a way, it's a slight advantage that, although he's a left-handed player, he plays with the, the rest right-handed. Certainly putting referee Temi, Terry Camilleri through his paces. Nice for Terry today. Referee in his first UK final. Green. green. Mm, he's trying to hit the green. It will be called a miss because obviously he can get through to the black. Mm, just going to slide too much. Foul miss. Jack Trump one. Only Sullivan four. Well, Ronnie, thinking about it, you think of no reason why he wouldn't have it replaced, but maybe he just feels that Judd's in a position where he can't get to the black, so, oh well, using the rules. Well, he's got to be very careful here. I mean, there's one miss called. If he comes off the side cushion and misses the black again, I'm not quite sure whether he will be warm because of the difficulty of trying to, to hit the ball on here, John. I know there was a, a happened Black. a few years ago where the player wasn't worn. Well, well, thankfully, he's hit the black, but that was the age old problem. Not hitting the black, but leaving a red either to left center, but certainly one up into the green pocket. angle on this red now and potting it brings some more reds into play well nine well I can't believe that wasn't his intention he just misjudged it 45 point lead got a nice angle on the blue to play the cannon into the reds just checking there's no plants to the corner and if these break nice could be frame over Well, the bottom one does pot, so Four. it's not too bad, as he said. He could have played to open them up, but oh, he's just knocked a 50. little plant on there, John. I don't know where you saw that, but those two reds, just as he potted that red, he's just knocked the plant on into this bottom left-hand corner pocket, and it's dead set. Coming around to see it now. That was a bit fortunate. OK, he still had a nice angle on the black, but this makes it a lot easier. That's a little Brucey bonus, John. 22. Yeah, even the genius of Ronnie O'Sullivan couldn't have imagined he could knock the plant on, but it's dead set. 23. And just this black now. To Luke Judd, leading snookers. It was interesting just looking at that text message that, or tweet that Judith sent in after he improved his game. And of course, that's what you feel when you're playing like 
like 45. someone like Ronnie, sometimes I think you feel as though you have to play too well and you you have to try too hard. Don't get me wrong, he's the most natural player I've ever seen, but you put pressure on yourself thinking how well you've got to play to keep him at bay. 51. Yeah, and also one half chance as we saw. And Judd, you know, if he didn't hit that black, he was always going to leave the 54. red. And nine times out of ten, you're expecting Ronnie to pot that. And this is the result. 56. And that puts pressure on every shot. 59. But he has had a chance in almost every frame, Judd. He can't complain about that. And you've got to put pressure on your opponent. 63. And he's got to start scoring a little bit heavier. Otherwise, this final could run away from him very, very 68. quickly. Yeah, Ronnie has run away with this frame, but we mustn't forget that Ronnie did miss a black off the spot, which usually can be very costly. 74. But as you say, Judd didn't take advantage of that, that unexpected error. And Ronnie Thank did Ronnie the business. Lovely break of 81. And Judd Trump now with a lot to think about as Ronnie leads four frames to one.